Mercy Kids Dance Leader. Hey kids, everybody stand up, come to the front, and praise and worship with me. Oh yeah, you have the top? Church mother in a church hat clap Man, that sugar gave her color purple Coming back clap, uh When that whole week beat you up and stress you But you hear that organ playing Never mind you, your blessings And on another note, she just hit another note Chills down my spine, got me crying Make me overload, you don't know about it though Old school church hymns, deacons Get the humming, not a drummer, finna burst in Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord Can you hear me now? Church close, swear they don't care how we made martyrs out of these fathers And rose up all of his daughters to glorify him with honor You got your own 
Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. The strength takes care of you when life is sour. Put on the armor of God and fight the enemy. Can you tell me now all the pieces you need? Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. The strength takes care of you when life is sour. Put on the armor of God and fight the enemy. Can you tell me now all the pieces you need? Got, got my belt of truth, check, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit, helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor, guy. Put on your armor, guy. Put on your armor, guy. You got your armor, guy. Good job. Thank you for worshiping with me. You may now have a seat. Awesome. Hey, come on. Can we give it up for our TFC Kids dancers again? Everybody enjoyed TFC Kids worship. A little praise dance, get us moving, get us energized. I have not had this much energy this early in a long time to start off service. Uh, we are so glad that you are here. It looks a little bit different, I'm sure, as you guys can tell and as you guys know. And I was thinking, I was like, how funny if this is your first time here? You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, our, can we give it up for any first time guests that have joined us today for their first time and this is what they're getting to walk? Hey, hey, oh, hey. my goodness. What? In the oh. kids building today, Pastor Reagan. I was there all by myself. Wait, oh my gosh. I have a question. Huh? Did we miss? Did, did y'all just do the church clap? We did just do the church clap, Fred. Oh, yeah! yeah. I can't believe I Y'all didn't tell them that we were. Well, well, Pastor Reagan, What's let that? me just tell you something. Okay. Pastor Jay over there, this place is sweet. It's big, right? It's huge. I can't wait for Kids World! Same. I'm excited for Kids World. Oh, yeah. So, I'm sorry, Pastor Reagan. What were you, what were you saying? Well, yes. I was saying that TFC Kids is in the building and taking over. But it, you kind of took over, Fred. I'm not going to. Oh. And I was welcoming the first-time guests today. So, it, I'm gonna get, can I finish that real quick, Fred, before we? Sure. Okay, first time guests. Hey, if this is your first time here, we are so glad that you are here. And we actually, um, we would love for you, if you would text, they're going to put a number on the screen. And if you would text this number on the screen, we'd actually love to meet you and greet you. And after service in the lobby, there's some tables. There's actually a gift. Fred, if they go to the table afterwards, we have a gift that we're actually going to wow. give all of the first time guests. That's sweet. Yes. Am I going to get one? Because this is my first time here today. In the big house. Uh, you Come on, Pastor mm, Reagan. Maybe. Okay. Right, well, let me let me introduce myself. Okay, go ahead. Hi, I'm Fred the Frog. Anybody know Fred the Frog? Any kids in the building that know Fred the Frog? Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you very much. So. Please text that number and come serving me in tips. No, kids. that's don't. That's not how it, Fred. <laughs> they got to text the number. We'll get them plugged into growth track, and they'll go through the four steps. After that, oh. they have the decision to possibly join the kids team if they would oh, like oh. to. So, well, I'm excited, yeah. you know, because we're going to have so much fun together. We will have fun today. Today, we're kicking off our new series, Grow, and it's all about the fruits of the Spirit. But before we do anything, we have to go over four core values at TFC Kids. Okay. So. I'll do that with you. Can you help me? I, I, I you Please. Sure. Please, yeah. okay. here's why. Why? Because I think I have a frog in my throat. Oh. Well, then I guess I don't really have a choice then, Fred, do I? Yeah, Pastor Reagan, in TMC Kids, we have four core values. Four core values. And the first one is that we love God. Everybody say, love God. Love God. We love God. We love God. We like to show that through our worship. That's why we do the praise dances. We put oh, on the yeah. armor of God. We do the church clap. We're going to have some worship at the end later. And our tithe. And, and then afterwards, another way that we show that we love God is through our tithe. We have our tithes and offering. Actually, if we're, are the ushers ready? Can we do the tithes and offering right now while we're oh, talking yeah. about it? Please. So we're going to do the tithes and offering. We have a few different ways that you can give, and they're going to put those on the screen behind me and Fred. And so Yeah, dig deep in your pocket. Yeah, tithe is 10%. 
of whatever you get. So, like, he's dig deep in your pockets. Maybe what? see if you have some coins or something that wait, you wait, can wait, wait, wait. put wait, in the. We need some money for Kids World. No. I want a big place that no. looks like this. You know Fred, what I'm saying? You can't, Fred, you can't beg people for money for Kids World. Oh, yeah. I beg my mama for money, and it don't work. Exactly. See, that's why, that's why you don't beg for money like You're that, right. Fred. So, hey, at this time, the ushers are going to get ready to pass their buckets. Um, there's a multiple ways that you can give. They're going to put those on the screen behind me as the ushers get ready. Come on, can y'all repeat this after me? Can we pray and bless the offering? Say, dear Jesus, thank you for what you do for me. I love giving to your house. I give you this offering because I know I will be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, ushers, you can pass the buckets as we continue on. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, and ushers, when you're done with those buckets, come see me. I need to meet with y'all after. Ushers, do not go see Fred. Do not go see Fred in the back. Hey, can we just move on to point number two, our core value number two that we have? Oh, yeah. First one's love God. The second one is love people. Everybody say love people. Love people. We are called to love people people there's always there's new people around look at look at the person next to you while they're passing say hello to the person next to you say good morning hello. look at the other look at the other person next to you say welcome to tfc kids live welcome to tfc kids live we love people make sure today we are called to love there's new people here this first time guests yeah. here so smile so smile real big greet them let them know say cheese, cheese. I'm smiling. There you go, cheese. I don't like cheese, though. I like bugs, Pastor Reagan. You can bug me all day long. You, well, you, ha, get it? Yeah, you're bugging me, Fred. I'll tell you that. I'm sorry. Okay, well, this is number three. So love God, love people. And then point number three. We, come on, help me out, Fred. Do your best. Do your best. We love when you guys participate. And in TFC Kids, we do competition throughout the whole service, really. So we're actually going to, so, and, and the way that you do that is you do your best. You participate in what we do. Can we go over, let's, I, say, Fred, I say we get some participation going. I say oh, we yeah. go over the scripture. Absolutely. The main verse today. Can we go over Galatians um, chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. But the way, I don't want to just read it. We're going to do it just like in TFC Kids, uh, Fred. Okay. We're going to have all the girls, all the women, all the ladies, would you stand up? Where the ladies we're, are? We're going to see who could do it stand louder and who could do it more together right here. So on the count Get of three, we're going to do the, the memory verse today. So I need all of the girls to say it as loud as you can and as together as you can. Cool? On the count of three. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Galatians five, two, two, three, two. Louder! The Spirit. And self control. Awesome. Good job. Y'all can have a seat. Guys, all the men, all the boys, stand up. We're going to see if we can do it a little bit louder. On the Aww. count of three, same thing. We're going to go over the memory verse because today we're going to, hey, and remember, core value number three do your best. So I need your best from you guys today. You ready? They, they cut us off. They said, they said we, we're missing some of the scripture. They're playing with us. Are you ready on the count of three? You ready? One, two, three. Let, two, through two, three. But the... Is love... Louder! Self-control. There you go. Good job. Good I don't job. Know, we may have been louder... Girls were definitely more together. <laughs> no doubt about that. I'm, I'm not even judging the volume, but togetherness, it was definitely that. So, uh, Pastor Reagan. Yeah? Do you know our big question today? Yeah, I heard y'all ask a big question every week if I'm right. That's right. Okay, so what's the big question today? What did you learn in so, church today? today? Whenever you get in the car, this is the big question that is always asked every Sunday morning. What did you learn in church today? So, here is the big answer answer for you guys to go home with and make sure whenever whenever your kids parents your kids are going to get in the car today and they're going to ask you what's the big question what did you learn in church today so parents here's the big answer today the fruit of the spirit helps me grow can we all say it together on the count of three you ready one two three the, the fruit of the spirit helps, helps me grow. grow so that fruit of the spirit helps us 
grow today. So they, that's, our, that's three of the four core values. Love God, love people, do your best. And, and then number the, four is your, my favorite opportunity. It's your favorite one. Do y'all know what it is, TFC kids? Let's say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Have fun. This is Fred's favorite one for sure. Oh, yeah. We love to have fun at TFC Kids. One of the ways we have fun, Pastor Reagan. How's that? Is we love to play games. Play games in yeah. church? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Boys versus girls today. So, how many of you ready to play games? Are we playing some right now? Welcome to the stage. Oh, Your my goodness. Your game host, Coach Brent and Ash Braxton. All right. Hey, check, Fred. Check, check, Good morning, check. everybody. You guys excited to be here? I know I'm excited. I was, I was a little weak. I'm going to ask one more time. You guys excited to be here? There we go. There we go. All right. That's what we love to hear. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Braxton. And my name is Britt, or as most of your kids know me, and two kids, Coach Britt. All right. And we are super excited to be here with you guys this morning. Right now, like Fred said, we're going to be playing some games. So for our first game, I'm going to need two boys and two girls. Raise your hand real high if you want to play. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick uh, Zachary Gondra, come on up. And you know what? Since we're in the big church, we, we wanna respect the adults. Can Mr. Grant Gondra come on up as well? Come on, Mr. Grant. I'm gonna get some. Uh, I know, I'll choose a girl. Yeah, I need let's some see, girls, I need some girls. Let's get Eden Gwen, come on stage. Right. And Miss Wendy, you can join her on stage just to even out the playing right. field. So Braxton, what's game number one? All right, so game number one is called Super Stack. So if any of you guys have ever stacked cups up, it's pretty much like that, but we're doing it on a bigger scale. So my ladies, you can come and stand over here to my right whenever you get up here. So the way that this is gonna work, each team is gonna stand behind these buckets that we have on each side. And whenever I say go, one member of the team is gonna grab a bucket, run over here to the middle of the stage, and put it down and run all the way back. And once you go back, you're gonna tag your teammate and then the next person can go, put one down and go back. So your goal is to stack it all the way to the top of the tower before the other team. But what's all the right? order? The order is five, then four, three, two, one. So so I don't know if I missed that. The order is five, five right? cups, four, three, two, one. Y'all got it? Zach, Mr. Grant, you got it? All right, so who's right, going first for each team? All right, if you guys are rooting for the girls team, make some noise. If you're rooting for the guys team, make some noise. All right, now everyone in the audience, you have a very important job as well, because I need you all to make some noise. I want you all stomping, stamping, clapping, yelling, doing whatever you can the to make sure your team. everyone on stage is going. So, are everyone ready? Y'all ready? All right. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go! go. We got two cups. All right, two cups, it's pretty much uh, it's even. It's close, it's close. The boys are off to an early lead. All right, the boys have their first stack done. The boys are on their second row, started their oh. second row. Oh, looks like the girls are catching up a little bit. 30 more seconds. The boys are setting their third oh, row. The boys are on the third row. It's getting close to the end, Braxton. Oh, it's getting close. 15 seconds. Fourth row. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Can they get in time? Three, that is game. two, one, and our winner is the boys. Well, we forgot to mention. Britt, do you want to tell them what they've won? Y'all just won a family night to Cajun Fast Track. All right. Thank you very much. You did amazing. Good job. Y'all can have a seat. You did amazing. You guys can go grab a seat. Coach Britt, we got another game to play? Yeah, I think we got one more. All right, let's see what we got. So in TC Kids, we love leaders playing our games. So for this game, I need one junior high leader, college leader, high school leader, and adult. All right, all right. So it's going to be junior high with our college leader, junior high, high school with our adult leader. High school. Just right. to make it fair. All right, who you want to come up first? For our first junior high, let's get someone from this time. Lanny Castillo, why don't you come join me on stage? All right, Lanny Castillo, all right. Who else you need? All right. Look at... 
Mr. Tanner Gwynn, come join me on stage. All right, so, so now you need, you need a high school and an adult lead, Yeah, right? high school and adult. Let's see, high but, schoolers. Yeah. Miss Michaela Graham, come on up on stage. All right, an adult. You know what? Can we get Miss Norma Fresnel up on stage? Y'all make some noise for Miss Norma Fresnel. Everyone loves her. So we're gonna have one catcher with this basket. It's called head basket. Head basket. One of your teammates is gonna have a this basket on your head, and your teammate's gonna throw ping pong ping pong balls into your hat. So who's throwing and who's catching for the boys team? Come stand right All here. Right, Y'all gonna so be on the same side. For the boys. Fix this. All right. So who's who's catching for y'all's team? You gonna catch? You gotta wear it on your head. All right, so they each have a bucket of ping pong balls, and the object of the game is to make as many ping pong balls in your teammate's hat in a minute. Whoever gets the most amount of ping pong balls in a minute will get a, leave with a Chick-fil-A gift card. All right, so high stakes. Y'all ready? Yeah, y'all can hold, can the, hold bucket. the bucket. All right, are you ready? You get too close. Aw. All right, so Britt, you want to count us down? Yeah, you can start in three, two, one, go. Oh, one. One for the girls. That's two. two. The girls have two. Oh, oh one boys have boys. one. It's two to one. Oh. All right. 30 seconds. It's close, still two to one, the girls are ahead. Oh, oh no, one two to two, three to two, three to three, three. oh my God, it's so close. It's neck and neck. 15 seconds. Four, oh, for the girls. Five, Seven. six, five, five to four, four, three, two, two. one. All right, all right. I'm pretty sure it's six to four, but I think six we should recount four. them. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see over here, they got one, two, three, four. And the girls win. Y'all will be all leaving right. with a Chick-fil-A gift card. They did amazing. Y'all can have a seat. All right, so we have one more game, and luckily with this game, it's a game that everybody in the audience can play. Britt, you wanna explain it? This game is called Find the Ball. Yeah. There's three cups, one ball. They're gonna hide the ball under one cup and move all the cups around. The object of the game is to pick which cup the ball is under. Pretty simple. You're gonna go from round to round and get harder and harder after each round. All right, so this game will be played on the screen, so please join us in turning your attention to the screen as we get ready for the next part of service.
Well, good morning. All right, so how many are excited to be in church today? Oh, come on. How are we doing at TFC Kids? I got to ask this side. How many of you are excited to be in church today? Not bad. They're not bad. But I have a feeling this section's got it. I think y'all got some lungs in y'all. Y'all can, in fact, we'll include you in this section. How many of you are excited to be in church today? <laughs> Pastor Reagan, Pastor Hayden, they got Sterling. Y'all student section's got it going on. Well, good morning. My name is Rachel Baldwin and Barry and I pastor TFC Kids here at the Family Church. And we are so glad that we get to be with you today. Thank you for letting us invade your space, adults, parents. We are so glad that we get to be here today. And we're going to show you how we do it in TFC Kids. Now, keep in mind, we're going we're gonna to make the service function for every age group. We're going to talk about adults, so kids, junior high, high school, college, so hang tight with me. This is not just about kids, but guess what? I have to say, kids are the best. Am I right, TFC kids? Where are you at in the house? Come on, where are you at in the house? Awesome, what's up? Well, before we even get started, I just first want to honor Pastor Jay and Pastor Tessie. Let me tell you something. If there's anybody that believes in the next generation, it's your pastors. They believe in the next generation. They believe the next generation's called and equipped and has a purpose and is going to do greater things in this next season than ever before. So, TFC, I want us to stand on our feet. We have a gift for you, pastors, and we want to thank you. Come on, show them some love. <laughs> show them some love. We love you. We can't wait for Kids World. Can I get an amen on that? And also, before we even get started, I want to thank the volunteers, the creative team, the people who are always in the back every Sunday, the volunteers backstage. Come on, the band that's about to play. Come on, the dancers. Come on, get, show us some love for all our volunteers. We have greeters every week that make this place run from the lobby to where you come in, ushers everywhere, security teams, and we get to be a part of this. And let me tell you something, it's an honor to be a part of this. There's no greater place than right here at TFC. So today in TFC Kids, we're kicking off a new series. Our new series for the next nine weeks is called Grow. So for the next nine weeks, we're going to learn about the fruits of the Spirit and how it applies to our lives. So here's our memory verse that Pastor Reagan talked about, Galatians 5, through 23. You're going to learn this. Parents, we do this every two months in TFC Kids. We usually typically do an eight to nine week sermon, and our kids, the goal is to memorize the Scripture. So when they hear it, when they need it, it will be there. And so that's the importance of why we learn the fruits of the Spirit like we're going to do today. The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And as Fred the Frog said a minute ago, the big answer today is the fruit of the Spirit helps me. Ooh, y'all did pretty good. We like to talk back at TFC Kids. So today, I have a question. Kids. When you go home today, when your mom picks you up in the car and asks you, hey, what did you learn in TFC Kids? What are you going to tell them? <laughs> you got it, Colin. Everybody say it together. The fruit of the Spirit helps me grow. Now, since some of you are a little confused, maybe we, it's okay. Hang tight. We're going to get it. You're going to learn it by the end of the message. In fact, you're going to learn it. We're going to illustrate it the best we can how we do in TFC Kids. You see, our role is the gardener. Now, let me explain. You see, in the Bible, Paul compared the fruit of the Spirit to gardening to help us understand what it looks like to grow the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. So I have a question for you. On the count of three, I want you to tell me what I have in my hand. You ready? One, two, three. A tomato, a tomato. Now, this tomato that I have in my hand, 
do you think I'm 100% responsible for the growth of this tomato? I'm the gardener. I planted this. Am I 100% responsible for the growth of this tomato? No. You're exactly right. Here's why I'm not responsible for the growth of the tomato. Because I can't control the sun. I'm not even in charge of the soil. But I do have a role to play. Everybody say, we are the gardener. This is the best way I can explain. We love illustrations at TFC Kids, so I need some helpers in this. I need two people. Actually, Coach Britt, that's what we call you at TFC Kids. You're our game show host. Why don't you bring your dad, Pastor Jay, up? Come on, give him a round of applause. Oh, we're going to have some fun today. Get ready, get ready. So, Coach Britt, you're going to represent all of us. We are the gardener. Now, Pastor Jay, you're going to represent the fruit of the Spirit and its growth in our life. Take your time. You need to get really comfortable right there. Perfect. You're good? All right. So, Pastor Jay, you're like the garden. In fact, as y'all can tell, we already got a pretty good garden right here. We've got a little tall garden. We're already getting going. It's good. It's good. We got it going. All right. So, we're off to a pretty good start. So, before we talk about the growth of the fruit of the Spirit, it's important to talk about what it looks like when we don't work, up, work on developing God's character in our life. So... If I build and plant a garden and don't tend to it, what comes up? Weeds. Coach Britt, our garden needs a little bit of weeds. Can we put some weeds on our garden? Oh, that's a crown weed. Nice. I like it. Yes. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like it, Pastor Jay. I hope I don't get fired. Oh, he has hair now. <laughs> so, another thing that's going to infest and mess up our garden, bugs. So, <laughs> Coach Britt, for our purpose of illustration, Pastor, do we have any bugs? We do. Let's put some bugs on our garden to help it. Not grow. <laughs> oh, there is bugs. Hang tight. It was nice being your kid's pastor. Oof. Oh, my goodness. He's got five boys. So Paul's saying in Galatians, here's what he's saying in 5, 24 through 25. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. So everybody say step. step. Oh, you got to do better. You got to do better than that. Little, little, little. All right, you ready? Everybody say step. step. All right. So we're going to do three things to help us stay in step with Christ. So the first thing is read the Bible. One of the ways we can be more in step with Christ is by reading our Bible. We read the Bible to help us grow daily. In fact, the TFC Kids, we just wrapped up I Love My Bible series. And guess what we did? We learned the books of the Bible in that series. And your kids learn that to where one day when they have to search and know a scripture and have to find where it's at, they can find it. Learning the Bible and what it says is so important. So when you go to school, kids, and you're afraid... You could quote 2 Timothy 1.7. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So in order to plant a great garden, we need some topsoil because it's important for your garden to grow because it contains all the nutrients that the plants need to survive. So you were thinking the same thing. Do you have some topsoil, Coach Britt? I think we got to start growing our garden. Oh, wow. Get <laughs> Wow.
Number two, everybody say, go to church. See, it's funny, church. The second way we can be in step with Christ is by going to church. Going to church helps me grow in my walk with Christ. I learn how to be more like Christ by the way I think, the way I talk, the way I act. You see, when you plant a garden, mulch keeps the plants cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So to have an effective garden, we need some mulch. Coach Britt, you have some? We do. Let's put some mulch on our garden. Wow. Our garden's getting good. Number three, we need... Come on, we give it up for our pastor. He's the best. <laughs> Number three, we, we need to get Christian friends in our life. We need people we can be in step with Christ. People that surround us to help us become better Christians. We all need good friends in our life that push us closer to Christ. You know, on Sunday in TFC Kids, we have a part of our service that we do small groups for your child. It's important. You're, you're getting ready. It's important that we have small groups at every age because guess what? We need good people in our life. So a garden isn't going to be healthy. Oh, gosh. Without a little manure. Manure. You see, Pastor, listen. In order for this garden to work, the manure in the garden helps with the growth of the plants. You're big enough. We agree, but we, don't y'all think we need some manure? All right, Coach Britt. It's really manure. I smell it right here. So <laughs> there's no other point to have, but you have to water your garden. Yes, you do. We have to. It rained. Oh, it rained. Oh, okay. Coach Britt, we have some water? We need more. I did just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, get it. Come on, get it good. Oh, yeah. It's growing. It's growing. Awesome. Come on, give a round of applause for your pastor. Come on. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. All right, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Coach Britt. You may turn your attention to the screens. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples. An orange tree naturally makes oranges. And a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. 
And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know! The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas. The fruit of the Spirit helps me... Oh, come on, you can say it better than that. The fruit of the Spirit helps me... Good job. It helps us grow. You see, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy. Y'all know it yet? Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We learn that from reading the Bible. When we read the Bible, we become more like the fruit of the Spirit. Now I'm going to talk to the parents. I'm going to talk to the high schoolers, the college age, junior high, the adults. Do you know these three principles never change when you get older? These three things that we can do to stay in step with Christ doesn't just in, in kids' ministry. These three principles are forever. It's important that we read the Bible. In fact, let me give you a few practical tips. Kids, preschoolers, get you a storybook Bible. If you're in elementary, first through fifth grade, get you a picture Bible. If you're a teenager, get you a translation that works for you. If you're an adult, get you a study Bible. Something that can help you grow and learn more about Jesus. The Bible says when we read God's word, we are in step with Christ. And here's why. Because we all have bad days. Whether you're a kid, whether you're in junior high, senior high, college, you're an adult, you're a single person, we all have bad days. And who do we turn to changes everything. We turn to God. That's why it's so important that we have God's word in our heart. The second thing is, when we go to church, we actually become more like the fruit of the Spirit. Because we're growing to become more like, like Christ. I encourage you at all ages, mom and dad, teenagers, always make church a priority. Make church a priority. You know... Every week we have the opportunity to put God first. And when we value the church, other things don't get in front of the church. When we value the gathering of believers and of new people that come here, even if you're a first-time guest today, the church is so important. We're here to help you. We're here to partner with you. We're here to grow with you. We love being a part of the church. In fact, I'll be honest with you, being a part of the church changed my life. My first area to serve at TFC was kids' ministry as a puppeteer. Being a part of the church helps me find my gifts, my talents, my abilities, my calling, my purpose in this world. 
And guess what? We need God in this world more than ever. We love imparting into the kids' ministry. We love helping you raise your world changer. We need the church and the church needs you. Make it a priority. I love when kids come to TFC Kids and they don't want to go home. I love when kids wake you up at 5 a.m. and say, and go where it'll come. If it's not yet, it'll come. Mama, I'm ready for church. Let's go. Let's go. Now, now. And you're like, oh, I don't want to go. Let's go to the 11 a.m. And like, no, 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 I want to go to the 9. I want to go to 9. In fact, I want to go to both. In fact, I want to serve. Jump in. Jump in. Whatever age you are, jump in. It'll change your life. The third thing is when we get Christian friends in our lives, we become more like the fruit of the Spirit. We become more like love, joy, peace. See, adults, we're the average of the top five friends in our lives. Choose wisely. Surround yourself with Christian people, people to help you in life. Life isn't easy, and we need each other. You know, small groups here at TFC at every late age level is important. We do it from TFC kids, junior high, senior high, college, and even adults. We can't do life alone. We need people to link up with us and partner with us in this journey called life. And I'll be honest with you, I actually kind of think we have the best student ministries on the planet. <laughs> Pastor Reagan, Pastor Sterling, Pastor Katie and Hayden do a phenomenal job of helping you raise your child to become more like Jesus. We need the church. I need the church. And the church needs me. And when I'm plugged in the church and my roots go down deep, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, self-control becomes evident in my life. You get to see kids use their gifts and talents for Jesus and they get to be nurtured and trained in the right way. That's the importance of the church and why small groups are so important. Paul's saying in Galatians, you have the character of God inside of you the moment you accept Christ. In fact, your job is to be the gardener. That's our job is to be the gardener and walk in step with Christ. Every day we need to look for the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. With every head bowed and every eye closed. We do this at TFC Kids. I know they do it here on Sunday mornings in the main sanctuary. We never want to close our service without giving you an opportunity to receive Christ. It's so easy. It's three steps. You see, it's not about religion. It's about relationship with Jesus. It's not about going to a certain church. It's about a relationship with a God who loves us. Three easy steps. A, B, C. The first one is accept Jesus in your heart. Believe that he died and that he rose again. B, believe in him. Believe that he is going to be your Savior and your Lord, that you can't control your life anymore. You have someone who's bigger than you, and you have to go to every day and say, God, I need your help. Help me. And C, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's why on Sundays we pray the prayer together. The Bible says to say it out loud. It's just an act of surrender. Sometimes we make salvation so complicated, and it's really not. It's all about relationship. So right now, with every head bowed and eye closed, I'm going to ask you, on the count of three, just raise your hand if you're ready to accept Christ. You could be five years old, 15 years old, or 50 years old. We all can have a relationship with Jesus, and that's really what it's all about. One, two, three. Come on, raise your hand up. There's hands all over. Or you could put your hand back down. 
I'm not going to embarrass you in any way. We're all going to say this prayer together, family church. Say, Jesus, I accept you into my heart. I believe that you died and rose again. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. I cannot do this life on my own anymore. I surrender. I accept you. I desire a relationship with you. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. At this time, we're going to stand and let's worship together as one big family. thank you Father for your goodness your grace your mercy over every one of our lives Father we thank you that as we follow you Father we can continue to follow grow in our faith and grow in our journey Father I thank you that all of us are developing to be more like you each and every day in Jesus name we pray amen for a moment to be seated Today we talked about growing in God. And to grow in God, we have to take next steps. No matter your age today, all of us have been called by God to continue to grow in our faith. Water baptism is one of the most exciting next steps you could ever take in your life. For a believer, 
It's letting the world know that you now belong to Jesus Christ. It's an outward expression of an inward decision that you have made to follow Christ. Today, we have some of our TFC kids and our volunteers that are ready to grow and take their next step through water baptism. TFC, can we rejoice with each of them as they get into the water today? and just celebrate what God is doing in their life. Our first candidate today, Stanley Begno. Around here, we call him Stan the Man. In September 2019, TFC Kids did a series about taking next steps with Christ. Stanley received Christ that day. Since then, COVID hit, and he's been waiting for an opportunity to get water baptized. Well, Stanley, here's your opportunity to take that next step alongside of his dad and Papa B. Next, we have Ashton Begno, brother to Stan the Man. Ashton's been serving and attending TFC his entire life. I think he was born on the first row right there. He has such a servant's heart. He's involved in TFC Kids as well as TFC Junior High. Today, he's ready to take his next step and follow his walk of faith and water baptism alongside of his brother, Stanley, Ashton Begna. Next, we have Miss Kate Baldwin, daughter of our children's pastor, Rachel Baldwin. What a great story. Three years ago, Kate was playing outside. She ran up to her mom and dad with tears in her eyes. And she said to the mom and dad, I'm ready to accept Jesus into my heart. She said she could feel the Lord speaking to her while she was playing outside. They prayed the prayer of salvation outside together. And just recently she says she's ready for her Papa B to baptize her. Kate Baldwin. Next, we have David Duyon. We know him around here as Peanut. He's 10 years old has such a heart for kids. He not only attends TFC Kids, but he serves in kids production, helps his mom in nursery whenever needed. David received Christ a few years ago. He's now ready to take his next step in water baptism. David Duyon. Next is Ariel Mullerland. Ariel and her family have been coming to TFC for six years. She serves faithfully in TFC Kids. And her entire family are part of small groups here at the family church. She and her son Liam are getting baptized together today as they take their next step with Christ. Ariel.
Lastly, we have Liam, son of Ariel. He has a passion for Jesus. Recently, he had this desire to look up a scripture and begin to read God's word on his very own. He's like a sponge in TFC Kids, soaking up every word, every illustration that is being said or done. He's also an amazing helper in TFC Kids. Liam is ready to take that next step today in Christ. Liam Mullerly. TFC, can you stand? Let's give the Lord a good hand clap today. Also, let's worship together one last time and then I'll just miss us here shortly. Jesus, give him a good hand today. Amen. Remain standing just for one moment. Let me just give you some closing announcements and then we'll let you go today. So grateful that you would take part of your weekend on what happened to be a rainy Sunday morning at 8.30 during drop-off, but I'm glad that you're here today. Just real quickly on a side note, all those jokes that I tell on the stage about my fifth son, Britt, he finally took advantage of all of those jokes today, didn't he? I don't know if you remember what a Chia pet is, but that's exactly what I felt like today. Recently, we broke ground on TFC Kids. TFC Kids World is gonna be a first class facility. As Frog said a while ago, that he loved this big space. Well, he's about to get a very big space. It's gonna be a space where I believe hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids are gonna be introduced to Jesus Christ introduced to the Word of God, introduced to the fruits of the Spirit. And um, we're so grateful that this moment, you know, with such a challenging year last year, with COVID, 26 weeks, no in-person services, and just all the challenges that we all had to face. And in the midst of that challenge, God drops it in my heart, and said, now is the time for TFC Kids. I remember being in my office when I got that prompting of the Holy Spirit and I said, God, are you serious? We're not even in church. 
We don't even know where we're going to be economically. We're not even sure. And God just spoke to me and said, trust me. I brought in our executive team and I brought in our, some of the people that I really confide in. I said, hey, here's what the Lord's speaking to me. Here's where we are. I said, give me some feedback. And they said, Pastor Jay, make sense. Move forward. And we did. Seven months later, we broke ground. They're going to have that slab poured, I was told, in about three weeks, waiting for some final engineering things to finalize on the so septic and uh, sewage and water. But other than that, we're ready to roll. The steel has been ordered, and we're going to have an amazing kids facility that's going to be connected right to this building. On the card there, many of you have. In fact, we're asking that all of us partner in some kind of way. Do what you can. Take a step of faith a leap of faith with us, and many have. We're, we're, we're about $250,000 shy of where we need to be, and many have already partnered. We were 500000 and we've closed that gap here in the last few weeks, and we're asking all of you to take a two-year journey with us. It's going to take a year to get in the building, and then it'll take a year to get situated and settled, but I'm asking all of you that can, that's willing, take a step of faith with us today. And uh, consider partnering with us. Consider stretching your faith with us. Already we're hearing so many wonderful miracle stories. Here's what I found. If God can get it through you, he will get it to you. And you know, you say, well, Pastor Jay, I'm just not certain where we are. Well, I'm not certain where I am, but I'm certain where God is. And I said, God, if you'll bless me with extra, you'll, you'll Open up the windows of heaven for me. God, I, I will do my part. And maybe that's where you are. Maybe you're in a situation where you say, Pastor Jay, we're, we're, we're trying to just make the month. I understand. But I'm telling you, take a step of faith and say, God, if, if you'll do this, I will do my part and do that. And you just watch the hand in favor of God on your life as we finish up Kids World. Real quickly, if you prayed that prayer of salvation today with Pastor Rachel, um, take a moment. If you would, just text the word believe to the number on the screen here. And uh, we'll send you some updated information via text messaging on what you, do, what you can do to grow in your faith, in your journey with Christ, give you all the resources we need. Maybe today... After watching these individuals, these TFC kids and volunteers um, get water baptized, maybe you've been waiting to be water baptized. You want to be the one that is publicly expressing their desire to follow Christ. Our next baptism is going to be Sunday, April the 25th. So it's coming up in about four weekends. And uh, if you're interested, there's some information in the lobby. Pick that up. That way we can have preparations made for you to be water baptized. And then next Sunday is Easter Sunday. On the seat there is a little bitty orange card. I need everyone to reach down, pick that thing up, put it in your pocket right now. That is your invite card to invite someone for Easter Sunday. Reason we made cards this week is because last year for Easter, none of you showed up. because we didn't have in-person services, but y'all weren't here. So here's a reminder and invite a family member, invite the neighbor across the street you don't like. Maybe they'll find Jesus or something. But anyway, uh, invite them here. We're going to have two wonderful weekend experiences and um, continue to pray. Can uh, Pastor Rachel, Pastor Barry Baldwin, if you can hear me, can y'all pop out on stage real quick? Rachel and Barry, they probably already taking care. Oh, there they are. Come on out. Y'all give it up for our kids pastors right here, Rachel and Barry. Yesterday I was cutting grass and thinking about today and just thinking about kids world and thinking about TFC Kids Live and I was taking a break and had a bottle of water and I looked at my phone and there was a message from Instagram and TFC Kids Live tagged me and I simply reposted. I think it was Ashton and 
maybe Fred the Frog talking about one more day, two more days or whatever. And, and you may have seen that Instagram post and I uh, read, listened through that or reposted it. And while I did, I just began to pray for today. More importantly, I prayed for Rachel and Barry. And while I was praying for them for a moment, I just felt the Lord speak to me and said, you have not seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. And Rachel, here's what the Lord spoke to me. That TFC Kids is not just going to be for TFC Lafayette, but TFC Kids one day will reach not only hundreds, but reach thousands worldwide as they tune in to watch TFC Kids live. I believe it. I believe it with all of my heart. It was as real as I'm as real with you. I'm telling you, TFC family, we are on the threshold of something that we have never experienced in the history of TFC in over 46 years. And it's going to start with that next generation. I believe it with all of my heart. Y'all extend a hand to Rachel and Barry. Just pray God's favor, God's blessing. Pray for their kids and children. And let me tell you something. If you ever see them out in town, be a blessing to them. Pick up their, you see them in a restaurant, you better go grab that bill. You see them somewhere, you just be a blessing. You see them in Starbucks, you buy them the coffee. You see them around town, you just love on them. And let me tell you something, love on their kids. You want to get mom and dad, you love on mom and dad's kids, and you will touch the heart of mom and dad. I'm telling you, you ought to give every opportunity to bless their life. And when somebody starts saying something bad about you, you say, stop it. Don't you bring that up right now. They are, have the call of God, the hand of God, and the anointing of God is on their life. You better speak life over their life and ministry. Can you say amen? Come on, Father, we thank you for Rachel Berry. Father, we thank you for the vision that they have for this next generation. God, I thank you that you're doing incredible things here at this church and using us to reach this next generation. And man, does this generation need Jesus like never before. Father, we speak life, we speak blessing. Father, I thank you that their ministry will touch the nations of the world in the future. We give you thanks in Jesus' name, amen. Do you believe that? Do you receive that? Thank you guys, love you. Amen. Let me dismiss you, family church. Just extend a hand to the heaven today. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. TFC, you're dismissed. We love you today. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.